Hello everyone, this is Dr. Esperanza at kung bago kayo sa channel ko, please like, share, and hit me na subscribe button para mas marami na akong matulungan bata na tulad nyo. So today we're going to be working on lessons on logic at ito yung mga notations and operations na ginagamit natin sa mga subjects tulad ng sim symbolic logic, set logic, or introduction sa mga math concepts involving logic. Now, dun sa ating set logic, yung statements na tinatawag sa ating set logic ay kaiba dun sa definition ng statements doon sa mga lessons natin tulad ng English or compositions or literature. Sa statement, dito sa symbolic logic or sa set logic, ang statement by definition ay kahit anong sentences or um, pangungusap na either true or false. So, kailangan yung ating statements or yung mga pangungusap natin, it's either true or false lang and nothing in between. At kung ang ating statement ay nagpo-fall under dito sa category na ito, matatawag natin siyang statement dito sa set logic. So, examples ng mga statements sa logic would be 1. Beijing is the capital of China. 2. London is the capital of China. And 3. William Shakespeare wrote the television show Friends. So, itong tatlong ito ay example ng statements sa set logic kasi yung number 1, ito ay isang true statement dahil alam naman natin na ang Beijing is the capital of China. So, kung ang mga statements nyo ay base sa facts or known facts, maaari or mas madalas yung mga statements or sentences na yun ay considered a statement sa set logic. Now, yung number 2 naman, According dito, London is the capital of China. So ito din ay nagpo-fall under sa um, valid statement sa set logic kasi yung London is the capital of China is a false statement at alam natin na yung London ay hindi capital ng China kaya alam natin na false statement siya kaya statement pa rin siya sa set logic. At yung number 3 naman, si William Shakespeare, alam natin na matanda na ito at alam natin na yung Friends ay eh, yung television show in the 90s. So alam din natin na itong statement number 3 ay isang false statement kasi hindi naman sinulat ni William Shakespeare yung TV show na Friends dahil nung nabubuhay si William Shakespeare and hopefully kilala nyo siya, ay eh, wala pang television noon nung kapanahon niya. So ito yung mga examples ng statement sa set logic dahil itong mga sentences or statements na to ay either true or false lang. Now, ano naman yung mga examples ng hindi statement sa set logic? So, bibigyan ko kayo ng mga counter examples ng mga statements na hindi considered as statement sa set logic. Ito yung one, Titanic is the greatest movie of all time. Two, read pages 23 to 45 at 3. What is the capital of the Philippines? So itong tatlong statements na ito ay hindi considered as statement sa set logic dahil yung una, Titanic is the greatest movie of all time, hindi siya either true or false. It could be true to you, pero sa akin, Titanic is not the greatest movie of all time. Pwede kong sabihin na Shawshank Redemption yung greatest movie of all time, or pwede ko rin sabihin na bata-bata, paano kita ginawa yung... Uh, greatest movie of all time. So, yung statement number one ay hindi siya considered a statement sa set logic dahil ito ay isang opinion or pwedeng maging true sa ilan at false din sa ilan. So, since hindi siya either true or false, siya ay hindi considered as a statement. And number two naman, read pages 23 to 45. Hindi rin siya statement kasi na-violate na naman niya or hindi niya na-satisfy yung statement or um, definition of statement, which is, it's either true or false, dahil yung sentence number two ay isang example ng isang command or order. So, hindi rin statement yung read pages 23 to 45. At yung number three naman, what is the capital of the Philippines? Ito naman ay patanong, at hindi rin siya statement or sentence na either true or false, kaya siya ay hindi statement sa set logic, dahil ito ay 
question form. So, pwede natin sabihin na lahat ng opinion, lahat ng command, lahat ng mga question type of sentences ay hindi pwedeng i-consider as statement sa set logic dahil hindi niya na-satisfy yung condition which is it's either true or false. So, mahalaga na alam ninyo yung ibig sabihin ng statement sa, st sa set logic dahil ito yung basihan natin para ma-quantify natin yung isang statement at ma-unawaan natin ng husto kung paano ba tumatakbo yung mga operations involving set logic. So, ito yung mga fundamentals and basic skill na kailangan nyo matutunan yung pag-identify ng statement sa isang set logic para mas maintindihan nyo yung mga um, operations involving this type of math problems. So, symbols and statements naman, since ang set logic, it involves symbols tulad nung mga nauna nating lesson, yung ating uh, mga symbols na ginagamit dito ay usually mga lowercase letters, minsan, minsan italicized siya, given by P, Q, R, and S. Ito yung mga halimbawa ng mga variables or mga symbols na ginagamit natin to denote a statement in a given set logic problem. So, for example, meron tayong dalawang statements. Beijing is the capital of China and William Shakespeare wrote the television show Friends. At alam natin na ito ay statement sa logic dahil it's either true or false. And let's say P is our statement 1, which is Beijing is the capital of China, and Q would be our Statement 2, which is William Shakespeare wrote the television show Friends. So, ito yung ating paraan ng pag-identify ng mga statements sa set logic. Gumagamit tayo ng mga symbols tulad ng letters P, Q, R, and S. Usually, P, Q, R, and S pagdating sa set logic kasi sa algebra, it's usually X and Y yung ginagamit nating variable. At sa trigonometry, usually ang ginagamit natin is mga Greek letters like theta, beta, alpha. Pagdating naman sa symbolic logic or... Uh, um, set logic, ginagamit natin yung P, Q, R, and S as a variable to denote these variables or statements. So, paano natin gagamitin yung mga symbols na yan? So, ginagamit natin yan sa pag-negate ng statement. At ang negation, tulad na nabanggit, ito yung pagbaliktad or pagbigay ng opposite na kahulugan ng isang statement. So, for example, ang ating statement P and Q, which is Beijing is the capital of China, and Q is William Shakespeare wrote the television show Friends. Ang negation natin is yung uh, pag meron daw tayong true statement or given by the definition, the negation of a true statement is a false statement and a negation of false statement is a true statement. So, binabaliktad niya yung kahulugan or binabaliktad niya yung value nung ating statement. Yung true nagiging false, yung false nagiging true. For example, ito yung symbol na ginagamit natin sa negation ng statement P. Sometimes we call it as not P or sometimes we call it as negation of P. So, ito yung not P or negation of P na tinatawag at yung not P natin given by the statement Beijing is the capital of China, kapag ka negate natin siya, we could write it as Beijing is not the capital of China. So, ganyan yung pag negate natin or uh, pag... Uh, bigay ng opposite na kahulugan doon sa ating true statement. So, since yung P natin is Beijing is the capital of China, ang not P natin or not true statement niya would be Beijing is not the capital of China. At yung Q natin would be not Q. Ang ating um, description ng not Q would be William Shakespeare did not write the television show Friends. So, ito yung pag-negate or paraan ng pag-negate natin sa isang statement using symbol. So, yung nakikita nyo yung uh, symbol na yan, yan yung negation or not operation in a given logic or set logic problem. So, let's say meron naman tayong dalawang examples na, is, na statements. P is London is the capital of England and Q is today is not Monday. So, parehas siyang um, true statements kasi yan yung ating uh, given statements. So, Express daw natin yung mga following statements symbolically like number one, London is not the capital of England and two, today is Monday. So kung uh, gagamitan natin siya ng symbolic um, operation, yung London is not the capital of England can be denoted by not P or yung number two, today is Monday since yung given fact natin or given statement natin is today is not Monday. So yung ating negation ng Q or not Q would be today is Monday. So yan yung 
paraan ng paggamit ng mga symbols and yung negation at pag-identify ng statement at hindi statement sa given symbolic logic.